Hey guys, this is Rex with Apple Toolbox, and in this video I'm going through 10 performance and battery saving tips for iOS 10. If you're using an older model iPhone, updating to the newest software can sometimes cause performance and battery issues. Of course, even if you're planning to upgrade to the new iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, these tips will be helpful too. So first for a few performance tips. There may not be a better tip for speeding up your iPhone than freeing up space. If the storage on your device is filled up, it will cause your iPhone to run slower. There are plenty of options to clear things up, but here are a few of the best. First off, you can go to Settings, General, Storage and iCloud Usage, and then Manage Storage. Here, you can see which apps are taking up the most space and how much storage space is left. Photos and videos you've captured on your iPhone are usually the largest storage hogs. Go to Settings, then scroll down to Photos and make sure you have Optimized iPhone Storage turned on. This will keep your iPhone from filling up with photos and videos. Some iPhone apps and games can take up lots of storage space as well. So if you have apps and games you never use, it's a good idea to delete them off your iPhone. And in iOS 10, you can even delete those pesky built-in apps like weather, compass, stocks, uh, calendar, and so on uh, that you never use. iOS 10 has a lot of fancy animations which older iPhone models can have trouble with and cause some lag. You can easily turn these off in the Settings app by going to General, Accessibility, then tap on Reduce Motion and turn the feature on. Turning Reduce Motion on stops certain kinds of UI animations from eating up unnecessary resources that can slow down your iPhone. Now these next few tips will help with both speed and battery usage. Next up is disabling location services. Depending on how many apps you have actively checking your location, this can be a shot in the arm for your iPhone's battery life. You can find this option by going to the Settings app, scrolling down to the Privacy section, and then to Location Services. To completely disable location services, simply toggle the switch off. If you depend on certain apps to provide you location data, you can always go through these one by one and turn off location services individually. Select the apps you don't want tracking your location and then select Never. Some iPhone apps are infamous for draining battery in the background, so it's nice to have their background activity turned off. However, many apps you may depend on to send you notifications or provide data will be disabled when background app refresh is turned off. For example, you may use a third-party calendar app. If low power mode is turned on, you will not receive any notifications from that app informing you of your next meetings. Thankfully, you can manually turn off background refresh for only certain apps. To do this, go to Settings, General, then Background App Refresh, and here you have the option to disable all background activity or turn off only those which you don't need. Apple has slid a really useful new battery saving feature into iOS 10. Labeled Battery Life Suggestions, the feature suggests ways that you can maximize your iPhone battery usage. It will appear automatically in the Battery section of the Settings app. To get there, hit the Settings app and then scroll down to Battery. Now suggestions vary depending on your usage patterns and your iPhone's current settings. For example, if you have the brightness cranked all the way up, chances are you will get a recommendation to reduce your iPhone's brightness. As you can see, these get listed below the New Battery Life Suggestions heading. The feature is pretty straightforward and it's a nice way to see some ways you can reduce battery usage specifically tailored to your individual device. Of course, just below the new Battery Life Suggestions feature is the Usage Utility that shows you exactly which apps and services are using the most battery. If you tap on the clock icon, you can see exactly how much time each app has been active on screen and in the background. You can also switch back and forth between the last 24 hours of battery usage and the last 7 days. If I notice my battery life isn't holding up as well as usual, this is the first place I go. Usually I'll find an app that's been in use in the background that I wasn't aware of. To give you an example, the Facebook app is notorious for acting up in the background. If you notice an app like that with say 4% on screen and 40% uh, background time, it's a sign something has gone wrong. 
If you notice this, you can force quit the Rogue app from the app switcher, and this should get your power consumption back to normal. Now, if the same app appears to be consistently misbehaving, you can always delete it and reinstall the app, which should help as well. Of course, let's not forget the most obvious battery saving feature for your iPhone, low power mode. When activated, a number of battery draining background activities are disabled to save you hours of battery life. Now keep in mind, similar to background app refresh, if you depend on immediate calendar and email notifications, low power mode is probably not the best option as it turns off that background activity. However, for many people, this is a fantastic way to save iPhone battery life because it allows the user to simply turn on one option rather than fiddling around in the settings app. More than anything else, powering your screen uses more battery than anything on your iPhone. It's worth making sure your iPhone's auto lock is turned to the minimum setting so that the screen isn't on all the time. To make sure your auto lock is set to the minimum time, go to the settings app, then display and brightness. Here, tap on auto lock and choose the minimum time. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching and be sure to stay tuned to Apple Toolbox for more. Later.